This one skill will turn you into a no feel solo demon. I have some gameplay in the background I want you to check out where I show off this skill and I'm basically going to break down what the skill is, how to do it, give you some examples. And by the end of this video, you're going to be getting badges, hot dropping, and taking bodies, bro. No kizzy cat. Let's get it. All right, man. So we're hot dropping. Of course, make sure you land kind of safe. Don't land directly on a team because you ain't going to get no loot. And if you ain't got no loot, back to the lobby you go. But the thing I want to teach you in today's video is a three-step method. It's kind of like a... Uh, like a rotation like you're gonna keep doing these three things in order over and over and that's how you're gonna find success man So number one engage pretty self-explanatory you jump into a fight number two retreat also self-explanatory You're just gonna run away and then number three and this is important that a lot of people skip and that is repositioning and repositioning makes you Unpredictable and it's hard to you know what I'm saying it's hard to kill you in the day so I'm gonna break down each point, what they mean, and give you examples. And in the background, I have some gameplay where I perform this spectacularly. And my English is not the best, so you know, <laughs> I'm using big words now. But starting off with engage, when I say engage, I do mean push teams, but you have to push smartly, right? So obviously locate the enemies you wanna fight and either get high ground or get good um, kind of like one lane uh, opportunities. So and what I mean by one lane, that just means that basically for the team to fight you, they have to push you from one direction. So that could be in a hallway, that could be around a corner, like where you know where they're at, and they only can push you from one direction. But an example of like a, a non one way would be like out in the open, you're behind a rock, and they could swing you left, they could swing right. You know what I'm saying? They could be unpredictable themselves, right? So, so again, either get high ground on a team or get a one lane predictable avenue and take shots and do enough damage or get a knock that you're satisfied with now moving on to step number two and that is retreat when should you retreat so always retreat when you're weak that's number one and then always retreat when you are outnumbered and you're probably thinking bro you're literally teaching me how to no fill trios like we're always going to be outnumbered that is true but you have to learn to separate individuals right so going back to the engage if you got high ground and you managed to knock one this one guy out now they're all pushing their down teammate or you because their their minds going everywhere man it's like rats bro you know so they're gonna push you and they're gonna be they're gonna be met with a unexpected force right because they're just tunnel vision they're pushing to help their teammate and that's when people make mistakes and you got easy knocks right so that's one way to separate people another way is to obviously get the one lane uh, situation going where you're just getting easy one clips, easy knocks. Because, like, like for example, they run around a the corner, they're, you're piecing each one one by one, right? Unless they just, you know what I'm saying, they're ultra a AOGS comms wall tap straight around the corner at the same time. Then you're kind of, you know, you're kind of back to the lobby, you know? That's just a couple of different ways to separate teams. Obviously, you can use um, tacticals or ultimates to separate people. That just depends on the ledge you're using. So we're not going to get into that because this isn't about legends specifically. It's just a overall skill you can use as a no fill solo person player. <laughs> but yeah, man. So retreat, obviously, when you were outnumbered, that just means that this whole team is engaged with you and you're most likely 90% like nine times out of ten you're gonna die if you continue that fight right so if you're weak you're super outnumbered or uh last the last one that i can think of right now would be like if your back's against the zone even if you had good positioning against the other team if zone closes you're gonna be stuck in zone and they won't be or something like that then that's when you would rotate off the high ground and rotate early and retreat after that fight early so you can avoid being in a bad situation later right or of course, if there's like a third party that comes in and you're not on the good side of it, like you're not the one third party in those two teams, it's like you in the middle and obviously you retreat, right? So, and then the last and most important thing that I think a lot of people look over is repositioning. And what I mean by that is say, okay, say for like a streamer building, right? We got the ropes on one side and the multiple, um, the multiple floors. What I mean is like, say you, you, Go up a rope to the top floor you shoot them from there right well I'll say after you retreat after you do step two you go back down go up a different rope or go up a different ledge or get a different angle from where you shoot from so that way you're not 
they're not predicting your movements, right? Because if you keep peeking the same angle or behind the same box or the same rope, they're you're gonna get killed, right? Because they're gonna wait for you, they're gonna have a pre-fire on you, or there's gonna be multiple guns on you because they all know where you're coming from. So repositioning just means change where you engage from every time so you have a better chance of catching somebody by surprise or you not getting beamed yourself. And that's the simplest way to basically explain the method that I use to get every 4K badge, which I have a 4K badge with every legend in the game. And uh, you can go check out any of those 4Ks to kind of see what exactly I'm talking about because I literally do that. I fight, I retreat, I, I rotate somewhere else, and I fight them again. And I keep doing that until either I wipe the whole team or I have to I have to completely disengage. So that's a quick video, man. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any more questions, please go down below and comment so I can clarify because if you have the question, then that same question might be on somebody else's mind. And we're trying to help each other as a community, man. Hit that like button, that sub button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.